So I'm going to Cape Town for work. So Cape Town vlog, there's a couple of things that I want to do. A couple of cafes, a couple of books. You know I'm going book shopping because I always do. But yeah, take you guys along with me on a fun little, not really fun because I have a lot of work to do, on a little trip to Cape Town. in Cape Town just got my rental car thank god my Airbnb is actually open the lady who runs it her name is Robin she was just like yeah sure because I was telling her I land so early and also have a meeting at like 12 she's like yeah no sure it's already cleaned and everything so you can pull through now but I'm going to start at the Bargain Books in Deep, Rif Deep River Deep River Deep I don't know how to say that I've been wanting to go to the Bargain Books for a while it's like a massive kind of factory warehouse or something like that so see if I can pick up some stuff want to grab some breakfast and then have my meeting so yeah I'm so I'm so happy that my Airbnb is open. I love it when Airbnb owners or whatever you call them do that because really waiting until three o'clock, honestly, I could die. It's like nine o'clock in the morning now. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Take you guys along with me. Let's go. Wait, as a side note, I yesterday randomly started Mansfield Park on audio and I'm literally like at the 200 page mark or whatever. Because I have the physical book as well, so I'm tracking it that way. But Fanny, sis, get it together. <laughs> start there are 10 aisles here and like there are so many books i don't even know where to start obviously i've already got like three in my hand but like i need to roll up my sleeves and really get moving because <laughs> this is gonna take hours well this is the happiest place on fuck disneyland bargain books deeply feed so i just finished guys wow that was a lot sorry i couldn't shoot while i was inside there was just too much happening so um i got a couple of books You'll have to watch my, um, sorry, so loud, I'll show you. will have to watch my next whole video to see what I got. But I got some really good stuff. And one book that you guys are probably going to be side eyeing me like, sis, didn't you hate that series? Why are you getting booked to? But I'll explain why. Okay, now I'm driving to breakfast because I'm hungry as hell. Because I wanted to go to Lily's. It's really hot. So it's one of my favorite restaurants in Mill Point. So yeah, let me go eat. I'm so hungry. And then I have a meeting. So I have to rush back to my Airbnb to go do some actual employment work. So I dropped my phone, my brand new phone, and then it fell, and then the screen cracked, but luckily it was just the screen protector, and then it switched off. It didn't want to switch on, it didn't want to charge, so I had to take it to the eye store. Now, that time I'm in Cape Town, guys, so if I don't have a phone, how? what am I supposed to do? Luckily, I know how to get to the VNA, take it to the eye store. She says, actually, your charger is broken. That's why it won't charge. There's something wrong with the connection between your charger and your phone. So then I get a new charger, and now my phone is on. Then I lose my ticket as I'm trying to get out of the VNA waterfront and I had to pay 110 rand to get out of the mall. Like when I tell you guys that I'm finished with what's the date? The 14th of April can draw me. Like I'm done. You know when just like so many things happen and you're just like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna go take a shower now. Like I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Deuces, like I'm done, I'm capped out. <laughs>
really cute breakfast nook. Guys, my Airbnb is so adorable. Um, I've actually put the link in the description below um, if you want to check it out. If you're ever in Cape Town, it's this cute ass cottage. Um, so yeah, I'm sitting in the breakfast nook now, just having some breakfast. By the way, I'm here for work. I'm not on holiday because people always ask me. No, I'm not on holiday. I'm here for work. It's just that I have meetings later this afternoon. But right now I'm at the Airbnb eating, um, answering emails and that type of thing. So reading update, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm still reading Wicked Fox. For some reason, I can't get moving. I'm enjoying it. It's like the action starts really early in the book. There is not, not a lot of lead up. Again, a cat show is doing that thing that I really like where the world building as we move, sweetheart, you're getting it as it's coming. So yeah, I'm hoping to get put, I'm only on like page 90 or something last night i just completely passed out because my flight was at like 7 a.m yesterday so i left the house at like five in the morning so you can imagine i had a full day my phone all of that stuff um so yeah i'm gonna get through that i'm wanting to do another chapter of sensuous knowledge chapter or two but the big thing um is that i started um hitting a straight lick with a crooked stick by zora neil hurston first of all wow the first story I, I read the first story yesterday i was just like this is phenomenal like you know what you forget how much zora is a fantastic writer because i read their eyes are watching god i think before bookstagram and you forget that zora there's a reason why zora is kind of the embodiment of a entire generation entire canon of writers but yeah this book um i'm hoping to get another two or three stories in so with regards to audio, I am listening to Mansfield Park still. Um, I'm on the last three chapters or something. I don't know why people don't like this one and why they think it's not their best Jane Austen. I love Mansfield Park. I actually think it's really, really good. It's better than Persuasion and better than Northanger Abbey, if you were to ask me. I am really, really enjoying it. So um, that's the other thing. Um, I'm waiting to see what Fanny Price chooses in the end because, sis needs to secure the bag as far as I'm concerned. Like Mr. Crawford, Henry Crawford, get it girl. Because like, he, that man changed his life. He's betterer, he's richer, he's sweeter. -er. So sis, never mind trying, never mind Edward, never mind your, your cousin. He don't want you. So yeah, so that's my other update. Um, so yeah, I'll take you guys around with me Kate, during, when I go out to Cape Town today um i'm gonna go to lunch and then there's this like ice cream shop um there's one in seapoint and one in camps bay that i really like so i'll probably go do that today but otherwise i'll just be here doing some work attending some meetings so yeah Italiano. It's a concrete showroom, factory, art store, design studio. I don't know how to say. After work, one of the people wanted to show us around this area, and it's like, I'll, let me just show you guys what's inside the studio. It's absolutely gorgeous. The artwork in here. I'm so glad I got a chance to be here. Um, yeah, because I've been like doing like some really hectic stuff all day, so this was a nice break. Bay lookout point and just literally it's one of my favorite views in Cape Town and just like stare out at the sea and the sunset ah, guys it's so beautiful um, yeah so I'm going to dinner with my cousin now so great burger and lobster which I love so let's go
like in my life like it's so big you guys can't see it now but it's like a king size bed i was just called my mom i was just like the fact that we have double beds at home just feels to me like we're living not the full life that we like we're not living the soft life that i become accustomed to in the last two days um so yeah so i finished um mansfield park i don't know why people because when i started reading it a lot of people were like to me oh it's not jane austen's best just like watch out for that i love mansfield park like I think it's so good like I think I definitely think it's better than persuasion I think for me right now it would be Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice and then Mansfield Park I didn't really like North and Abbey but we'll see with Emma I'll probably do a ranking video once I'm done and give you guys like the my opinions on each book but I really liked Mansfield Park first of all <laughs> and this is not a spoiler guys this book is probably 150 if not more years old so the fact that Fanny ends up with her cousin Loki, I was just like okay, but I also felt like she should have made him she should have made him beg a bit more, should have made him call a bit more because he was about another hand. That whole twist with Mariah and Edward not Edward with Henry. I was just like, I did not see that coming. Like I didn't know people could steal I couldn't I didn't know like in the eighteen hundreds you could steal someone else's hand. Didn't you like get killed for that? I didn't know that that was like a thing that you could do. And like really though Mariah played herself because then she ends now you're a social pariah, now you're in the country somewhere because you decide Decided to chase after a man that still don't want you after you already were married anyway I really enjoyed Vatsville Park um I've been listening to it on audio since I've been in Cape Town so that was a really really good book um hitting a straight lick with a crooked stick oh guys Zora Zora it's so good it's so good um I, I'm so glad I'm listening and I'm listening to the by the way it's on script the audio is on script as well I'm enjoying it immensely um, I'm really really glad that I decided to bring this with me because I because I I haven't been able to get into Wicked Fox not because the book is bad by the way but for some reason because I've been up and down all over Cape Town reading a sustained narrative just has not been something that I've been able to do so I think like the short story situation is much better has been much better for me so yeah so I'm about to get into these like these covers <laughs> so I just wanted to give you guys that quick update um, yeah so Good night. Bye, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I just wanted to show you guys. This is what behind the scenes looks like. Pretty rockish. In my pajamas. Pose. 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 <laughs> I'm trying to take a photo and it's not working. And I'm just like, because I love these pajamas and they give off such a nice aesthetic. Don't you think these pajamas like my, literally my Instagram feed in a photo? But the lighting is going weird and it's not working and I'm just like, you know, I just wanted to just like have that little ramble and we actually just go get dressed because this isn't. Cape Town. I always come here. Whenever I'm in Cape Town, I always make sure I stop by. Um, if you're here, you have to come. They always have like all the latest books. They always have new releases, and it's also just generally such a vibe. Um, so let me show you guys around a little bit. But yeah, and then I'm gonna run to breakfast because this bitch is. Long.
us at Cape Town Airport, the romance section is always so much more well stocked in terms of like new releases than any other exclusive books. It's the maddest thing. I mean, guys, the fact that they have boyfriend material, they even have, I saw shipped just now. Yeah, shipped. Like, what's happening? Oh, they have written in the stars. Like, what? <laughs>